Welcome back subscribers, welcome new subscribers, and welcome ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube. Today we're going to look at the early 2000s Transformers Armada Cyclonus. I do not have as many kind nor many kind army, so I do apologize for that. Maybe one day I'm thinking about actually just doing like some kind of live stream with like many kinds and all my Armada toys and all the gimmicks and all that kind of stuff. So um, saved some time. That was my ramble for this video, and let's get on to the toy. So as for shoulders, he doesn't have too much articulation because his arms are actually on his wings, which go up that far and go down that far. Yes. His arms go forward and backward if you move certain parts around of his anatomy. His legs go frontwards, but if you want to bend them around, they do go backwards. You gotta just watch out for that tail and not to break anything, especially if you get one of these second hand. Um, maybe you don't know if it was played with before you got it, so you might want to watch out just in case there's any fragile parts. And um, no hand. Um, port, no wrist swivel, uh, no feet articulation at all. Um, he's a basic bot, really, but I love him. I had him since he was new. My cousins, uh, my cousin and her husband, um, gave this to me for Christmas that year when it came out. So, before we go on for transformation, this is where you would store his minicon up front in his gut. <laughs> and yeah, so. Um, oh, oh, one thing I do want to show off. I'll actually show off the mode of detail in vehicle mode. That way it'll be more visible. So we're going to fold the head down. We're just going to take the back of his tail, flip it up, click it in, and then we're going to take the waist. We're going to do a 180, push it back. Then we're going to fold his legs, take his cannons out of his feet, out of his heel, yeah, shin, back foot, I don't know, whatever it is. And we're going to fold him up. We're going to have his cannons out facing the front. We're going to take his arms, put them to the back, because you're going to have a helicopter with an arm shooting at you. It's kind of scary. And, I mean, it looks not like arms now, which is kind of cool. And that's it for the transformation. Uh, the gimmick on this was this little thing right here. You're like, what's this? Well, it does this. And um, uh, if you have headphones... I'm going to try to adjust this if I feel it's loud in post, but if it might be loud, so be careful. You take this and you pull it like a trigger because it does this. It's kind of satisfying in person. You know what I mean if, I, if you have one, and you will know what I mean when you get one. So, let's do a little zoomy zoom. And, there we go. Look at all that molded detail. Like, almost every square inch of this bad boy is molded. You got the ventilation shafts right there. His gun is molded and painted. Wow, actually, I never noticed that in the whole time I had him. His feet. Legs. Um, tail rotor. Rotor? Oh. Tail thingy. Back. Back. Wing thingies. Um, he has a jet because all helicopters have jet propulsion in the back. And we got mechanical detail right there. Mechanical detail in his arms. Under his arms. The front of him also has great detail and great paint. His head just looks like some kind of helicopter part when folded in. His propellers also have beautiful molded detail. Look at that. I mean, nice, huh? Very good. Very good indeed. So, that was my short uh, review of Transformers Armada Cyclonus. Um, when I was little, I kind of still didn't understand the whole concept of, like, new shows and new universes and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's not Cyclonus. Cyclonus is a cool space jet, not a stupid helicopter. But the toy's fantastic. The character actually turned out to be very good. Um, the character development towards the end of... Ah, shut up, phone. Who's calling me? Oh, telemarketer. Um, his character development towards the end of the show I thought was pretty good for a character like that. So, anyways, um, if you liked the short video and if you thought I was pretty good to be in your YouTube feed when you turn on your app or go to www.youtube.com, if you feel like I should show up in your feed, definitely hit subscribe. 
um, hit the little bell, I guess, if you if you if you're really feeling it. <laughs> and um, thank you for watching this video. I always appreciate it. Remember, I am five subscribers away from doing my little giveaway, and it's just not like I said in my last video. I kind of feel like I'm like, hey, subscribe and you get stuff from me, but it's it's honestly a thank you more than anything because I just did this for a hobby and I kind of want to try to take it all away or take it all the way uh, to the top and maybe do a whole bunch of cool things with the community because that's what my that's why I love about making my videos is the conversation we have about toys and our shared love of this hobby and interest so no matter where you are in the world whether it be day or night you're watching this have a good day and or have a good night and i will see you in the next video bye